Lady C reveals that Harry's regency is stripped after Frog's it, while Charles removes him from the royal burial yard. In October, Steve and Ben, Viscount Stansgate, ask the House of Lords whether the government was happy to continue with a situation where the councils of state and regency powers may be exercised by the Duke of York or the Duke of Sussex, one of whom has left public life, the other of which has left the country. Ben raised the idea that King Charles should be consulted about changing the Regency Act to mitigate this possibility. The government's response was of interest because it didn't dismiss a potential change. Now the question has an answer. Will Harry be stripped of his Regency? Prince Harry's currently fifth in the line of succession, but of those five royal family members, only two are over the age of 18, Prince William and Prince Harry. This means he's currently second in line to be regent. If King Charles III were to become permanently incapacitated due to ill health, then William would be appointed regent. If the king died, then William would inherit his throne. If both Charles and William were to die, then the throne would be inherited by William's son, Prince George. But while he's under the age of 18 until July 22nd, 2031, a regent would need to be appointed by law. This regent, under the 1937 Regency Act, would be Prince Harry. I saw a recent change that the royal website lists Harry's address as Frogmore Cottage. I believe the royal family wouldn't make a mistake like this. Does this have a deeper meaning? It seems strange when the king took measures to say that Harry had been evicted. Lady C reveals in her latest video, the fact of the matter is that Harry cannot qualify as a regent if he's not domiciled in the UK. Harry and Meghan have made it quite clear, they're one plane crash away from the throne, which they are if the Wells family were in a plane crash together then Harry would be next in line to be king. This is why Harry cannot give up his domicile. For Americans, I need to tell you English law has different meanings of domicile and residency. You can reside abroad and remain domiciled in the UK. You can use domicile based on where you were born and where you intend to be buried. If Harry's going to be buried at the burial yard at Frogmore, he needs an address. The UK and Commonwealth will not accept Harry as either regent nor king. I believe steps need to be taken quickly to ensure this can never happen, or the monarchy will end. From what I can understand from the UK government website, to have domicile condition B, this is met when you've been a UK resident for at least 15 of the 20 tax years immediately before the relevant tax year. But you can lose deemed domicile status under condition B. If you leave the UK and there are at least six tax years as a non-UK resident in the 20 tax years before the relevant tax year. So once the six years since Harry left are up, he'll officially have no UK domicile. Lady C has also said previously there's something in place to stop Harry being regent or next in line to the throne if there were a tragic accident. Plans are in place to stop this from happening. Becoming king is not automatic for anyone featuring in the line of succession in modern times. Meghan believes that it's so, or Harry's told her so, and that's why she said people are dancing in South Africa, celebrating her marriage. Harry cannot be king until the British Parliament endorses him as king. A person of his character will never pass the scrutiny in the procedures in the Constitution if such a situation ever happened.